I grew up in the uh, Depression years, and the war started at the end, end of those years, and um, I signed up in the Navy and spent the next 39 years doing it. He joined the Navy uh, a couple of years before I did. I was in one year, and, and he, he went much, much, much long, longer, and uh, he is just very modest about it all. For the whole Navy, uh, he's never going to be forgotten. He's one of the landmark CNOs in our history, and I don't think there's any question that he's a champion of freedom. When he was a, an aviator, he was a good one. He had five, nearly 500 carrier takeoffs, 498 carrier landings. It's a story that it's worth asking him about. <laughs> people think leaders are born, a lot of people do. That's not really true. Uh, I've seen so many people, all qualities, just work hard at the problem. So it's uh, intensity, it's uh, commitment, it's um, role models, uh, uh, living up to what you believe in, uh, holding the people accountable, and then holding yourself accountable. Admiral Hayward uh, became the Chief of Naval Operations, the top officer in the Navy uh, in the 1970s, which was one of the most challenging decades uh, the Navy's ever gone through. We were coming out of the Vietnam War, uh, the budgets were being cut, we had a huge maintenance backlog, and we were faced with the challenge of fixing the ships we had and modernizing the Navy at the same time. First time I met President Reagan was uh, along uh, Pennsylvania Avenue on the day of his inauguration. As you know, the parades come by, all the services come by, marching and so forth. So I stood up by the president and he watched these sailors trying to figure out how to march. And he turned to me and he said, you got a lot of work to do, Admiral. He leads by example. Uh, he's actually a, an inspiration to me in, uh, in several ways. Uh, as I've heard it said about Admiral Hayward, he does what he says he's going to do. In my parlance, that uh, he makes and keeps commitments. And then he is uh, the ultimate community member, uh, and he cares about those around him and wants to add value to where he is. When Peace Trees Vietnam started, he was instrumental in getting the organization not only off the ground, but advice around where to go, how to go about it. His grasp is so clear and his commitment is so strong to supporting particularly the children, their well-being, their education, through school, building their kindergarten and supporting children of landmine survivors. So 110,000 landmines and other kinds of uh, bombs have been removed and there have been a number of schools built as well as libraries of which one is in his name. He's a tremendous friend to Peace Trees. He's a visionary to see that the impossible can become the possible. His days are full, and I would say by noon, he's done more than many Americans have done all day. Oh, he's definitely a champion of freedom, but he's also a champion of global education. So I couldn't imagine a more uh, important person to receive this award than Admiral Tom Hayward. I think he's as fine a patriot as you find in this country. I'm very honored to have him as a friend. What makes the United States worth defending? 200 plus odd years of people sacrificing for us. Uh, the greatest form of government there is, ever has been. And we gotta live up to it and uphold it, support it, give your life if necessary, commit yourself. That's my, uh, that's my thesis.